Today we're going to solve a structural engineering problem and we're going to look at how do engineers analyze beams. So a beam is a horizontal element that you'll find in any modern building structure and they're responsible for holding up the floor, right? So the floor that I'm standing on, if I'm on the second floor of a building, there are beams beneath me and those beams run across the floor and they hold up all the weight above them. So most of the time, the weights that are pushing down on the beam, these external loads, they're just the weights of objects or people on the floor above. So they're usually downward pointing loads, but sometimes a beam could experience an upward load under certain circumstances. So for the beam that we're going to analyze today in this problem, I wanted to make sure I introduced at least one upward force acting on the beam, because although they are less common, uh, I want to make sure you as the audience knows how to deal with that kind of situation. So we have three external forces that are acting on this beam, which is a relatively simplified situation. And typically there may be hundreds, if not thousands of forces acting on this beam. And this beam is being supported by columns on both ends. So a column is a vertical member that's holding up this horizontal beam. 